Police in Osaka have reported the one and caution statement from Rafa Omangani Nakachinda, aged 43, of farm number 1794, Kafiwe District. This is in regard to the statement he issued at High Court Grounds on December 13, 2021, and the interview he had on one of the radio stations in Osaka. He has been warned and cautioned for the offense of defamation of the president contrary to section 69 of the penal code chapter 87 of the laws of Zambia. He is currently detained in police custody. Thank you. Is he likely to be released? Uh, for now, uh, like we am saying, this has just happened. Yes, this has just happened and um, I'm seeing, I've seen uh, his lawyers around here. We don't know how far they will go with the dealing of us. If you'll be released today, or the other, but what I can confirm is that he is in police custody currently. Why are you not even in bond? No, this is well, this is just happened because bond has got conditions. So if he's uh, if the case is bondable, he has to meet the, the bond conditions. Yeah, it just that it it, it just never happened automatically. No, there the bond has got has got conditions. Yes, so if the case is bondable, then he has to meet uh, the bond conditions, and thereafter he proceed. Yes. What's the status on the other when in relation to the attack that happened earlier? Yeah, we've got uh, seven suspects who we have uh, uh, picked around here for discred discreditable conduct at the police station. So we have uh, detained them at the police station. You saw the confusion that they caused here. They smashed the windows and caused confusion here. So we can't tolerate this at the police station. We have picked seven of them and we have detained them in police custody. Mr. Man, sorry, when you said that we smashed the windows, what do you know that Because we can't see this smashed the windows. Yeah, there is, a, there is a, a, a window behind the VSU office, yes, which has been smashed, and the fragments hit uh, the officer who has been rushed to the university hospital for treatment. Yes, so if you walk, behind the building, you will see the window which has been smashed. Are you able to ask us through? Yes, please. Have they been kept and together yet? with the Honorable Nakachinda? With some suspects? Okay. We've got the only one cell here. Yes. So we can't separate to say this suspect will be this side, the other suspect will be upstairs. No. We've got one cell here. Apart from that, we've got the female cell and the juvenile uh, cell. So it's an adult. It's it's self, it's self, it's self, self. Yeah, it's self. These are self custard. These are it's a police. It's, it's self custard. So we are when you are in a police uh, a cell, you are in self custard. Everything is, uh, is is okay. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Please put on your mask so that I can take off mine. Tomba, uh, if you all put on your masks, then I can take off mine. <laughs> so that all of you are protected. Dear members of the press, indeed on the 12th of August, we changed government. However, I don't think that we changed rules, that we changed guidelines on how justice must be dispensed in the country. It is extremely worrisome for us that more and more of our people are being detained before police effects arrests. We recall the manner in which Honorable Stephen Campiongo was detained at this very police station only to be given free transport to Chinsali for him to go and be arrested and soon after that to be given bail by court. Today again, Rafael Nakachinda has been detained 
before the police effect an arrest. What is extremely worrisome is that our legal team was instructed to go and ensure that Honorable Rafael Nakachinda is not held in the same cell with the UPND hooligans who came to hail stones at us here at the police station. Seven suspects have been arrested and they have been kept in a cell in which they are also putting Rafael Nakachinda. Naturally, we have fear of what will happen to Rafael Nakachinda by him being exposed to those hooligans who came to cause havoc because of the fact that Rafael Nakachinda was being interrogated. We were assured through our legal team that Rafael Nakachinda would be put in a separate cell away from those hooligans because the police officers themselves appreciate the fact that those seven cannot be put together with Rafael Nakachinda. However, I'm extremely disturbed to hear that the PRO of the police has reneged on that offer, on that promise. And that he's saying they only have two cells here and one for sale for males. And therefore, Rafael Nakachinda is going to be kept in the same cell with his assailants. This is very worrisome. I want to say, on behalf of the Patriotic Front, that we are leaving the police station following the assurance that was given to our legal team by the officer in charge, that they assure us of the safety of Rafael Nakachinda. Anything that's bound to happen to Rafael Nakachinda tonight, as he is put together in the same cell with the criminals who came and destroyed property here and injured our members, will be squarely on the hands of the police. It is our hope that the police can provide security to all citizens. Nakachinda has not been condemned yet, and I wonder whether you even managed to condemn him. And it's not the police to condemn him. It is the courts of law to condemn him. It is therefore also total and becoming of any police officer to measure the degree of an offense. No police officer can say to you, this is a very serious offense. It is only the courts that will determine that matter. And the police must be asked not to be prejudicial on matters like this. Their role is to interrogate and go and prosecute before the courts of law. It is up to the judges to determine the severity of an offense. Because as far as Nakachinda is concerned, as far as his legal team is concerned, as far as we are concerned, Nakachinda is not even supposed to have spent the night in the cells this evening. So I'd like to end by appealing to the police, the country is watching. Anything that happens to Nakachinda, if he's going to be roughed up tonight, we shall hold the police squarely to blame. If you have questions, my friends, you may ask. Very good. Thank you very much. And I want to end by saying we are also aware of the fact that a politician visited this police station following the incidents where cadres believed to be from Monali came here to stone people. A minister came here. Tomorrow, as we come to follow up the matter of Nakachinda, we shall also follow up to make sure that those seven criminals are presented before a court of law. In the same way that they are treating us, they must treat their criminals. There is no doubt that those criminals who came to stone us are UPND criminals. They are criminals who are known by ourselves. They are in the police. They must not be released before they appear before the courts of law. We shall take very keen interest in this matter because we want to make sure that everybody does what President Haga Inde Hidema is saying, that he's going to govern by the rule of law. And if he's going to govern by the rule of law, what is good for a goose must be good for a gander. Today we want to see that indeed the law is being applied without any kind of uh, favoritism. Thank you very much. Thank you.